Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're going to be discussing about how we can hyper optimize our deep learning models by using Keras Tuner. So we generally use a pre-trained model, so we even build our custom uh, deep learning models, but we never get to know and we always struggle in finding like what number of hidden layers we need to be using, uh, what is that percentage of dropout and uh, such kind of parameters we need to figure it out so uh, if you give it a hard number so it may it may become very difficult for you to uh, get to that uh, a better model or converse to that better model for particular accuracy so get so to get that particular uh, efficiency from your model we need to have a best parameter to be input inside the model so to find that particular best parameters inside the models we have to train or optimize our models so that can be done using keras tuner which is a very effective way and it can be done in a very easy steps so in this tutorial we're going to be seeing how we can uh, optimize our deep learning model and find those uh, particular parameters which are actually helpful for our building a deep learning model so let's get started first we'll import few of the libraries uh, which is obvious tensorflow and keras from tensorflow so let's run this cell and we'll, we'll uh, import a following uh, Keras Tuner library, uh, which is just a simple command pip install Keras Tuner. So we'll run that cell as well. So now once this uh, Keras Tuner is being installed, uh, we'll import Keras Tuner as KT. So let's just run this cell. So in this whole tutorial, uh, we're going to be uh, implementing or we're going to be building a model uh, over a MNIST data set. So uh, this is a very uh, toy data set, but uh, yeah, uh, for uh, for our understanding of our uh, uh, model optimization and hyper optimization by using Keras Tuner, this, just, uh, this is just a basic uh, data set which uh, you can use. Although this whole process can be applied to any new kind of data sets, uh, but I am for this tutorial, I am just going to be using it for MNIST uh, data set. So for that, I am just loading the MNIST data set and we'll split into a train test and it's label as well. So let us run this uh, cell. And in this particular cell, I am just converting all those images uh, which were there in uh, MNIST data set and converting into a float point, float floating 32 and then uh, uh, rescaling it to 0 to 1, uh, 1 scale. So this is what I am doing over here. So let us run this. So all the test and train image has been rescaled to uh, in the range of uh, 0 to 1. Now once we have this uh, data set ready and uh, Keras Tuner library is ready, uh, we have to prepare a, a model. So for that, uh, we'll write a script or we'll write a simple model function which will take all these steps like what are the uh, sequential layers we need to be uh, inputting in our models and what kind of dropout layers and how, how, how the input should be. So that particular definition of the model will be defined in a particular function and we'll, we'll walk through that function and we'll simultaneously we'll be applying the Keras tuner how, like we'll specify the search space of particular parameters by using Keras tuner and, and we'll combine the model uh, layers as well. So we'll look into the function and let's see how we can do it. So this is the area where uh, I will be uh, building up a function. So here's the function which has been written and this is a model builder function and input is HP. So this is the hyperparameter means HP means hyperparameters. So this is generally specified when you uh, use it using Keras you know, so you have to write HP and then you have to prepare this uh, model layer that is sequential layer. And then once you specify this uh, uh, layers, then you have to specifically uh, use hp.int, which is coming from uh, Keras, Keras tuner. So hp.int, and you have to specify the minimum and maximum range of any particular uh, number of neurons. So for for this particular step, I am just mentioning that okay, Keras tuner hp.int uh, takes units uh, from minimum 32 to maximum 512 in 32 steps. So this is how uh, the integers or the number of neurons will be set it. And I will be uh, setting it to HP underscore unit variable. So this is how you set that particular such space 
so you have to find a particular uh, number of layers or dense layers or dense neurons uh, which is which is present in this uh, such a space which is from 32 to 512 so this is we have defined it and this particular variable will be used inside this so if you see keras dot layer uh, dot dense we are defining a dense layer and how many neurons to be put it into it will be defined using this search page so this is uh, this has been optimized if we haven't had used this particular uh, uh, this particular step we could have directly just written 32 or any any n any number of it but right now we want to find out where it is which is the maximum number of or which is a good number of neurons to be fitted into this particular parameter so we are providing a search space uh, to the keras tuner uh, like this way by providing the minimum and maximum value and will and this model will uh, iterate over it and it will find the best uh, number of dense layer or the uh, best number of neurons to be uh, used so this is how you define the search space and this is how you integrate that search space inside that particular dense layer and similarly you define a particular dense layer with 10 because we want 10 outputs so this is a final layer and uh, obviously we have learning rate as well to be fine-tuned so there are many parameters to be taken care but I'm just taking here learning rate and uh, uh, and dense uh, units to be taken for search space consideration so uh, we'll take this hyper uh, hyper monitoring of uh, learning rate as well so for that we have HP dot choice and we'll specify that learning rate is our, is our parameter and specify the value uh, from which you will be searching for so I have specified three values so it will take one one value from here and it will select a better uh, better learning rate out of this so it will come up with some uh, good uh, optimization parameters number uh, by by looking into this search space which you have been providing over here so this is how you do and once this search space is uh, is defined we have to just uh, give it in inside the compile statement so so model dot compile uh, will comp compile all optimizers uh, optimizers with learning rate so we will providing here a learning rate which you have specified over here and you have to specify the loss function and then you have to provide the matrix which has to be validated so this is how the function of uh, a model look like uh, so you generally define a uh, layers of model and then inside that layers of model you have to specify the search space and you have to integrate a search space inside that model so this is how a model uh, builder function is doing and this is generally how it is being done so once this is done let's just run this particular cell and we'll use the uh, other form of uh, keras tuner uh, to hyper tune it so uh, this such space has been defined in this particular model function and now to hyper tune it to, to get a better numbers of uh, uh, parameters like numbers we have uh, various methods uh, which is generally random search hyperband and Bayesian optimization so these are the uh, algorithms which are generally used to find a better uh, numbers or parameters from those search space specified so we are generally familiar with random search but for this tutorial we are going to use hyperband you can also use Bayesian optimization so hyperband is uh, uh, more uh, flexible and more uh, good num uh, go provides a good uh, uh, search algorithm for uh, getting uh, get better numbers of hyper 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 parameters so you can go with hyperband even the Bayesian optimizer work good so uh, for this tutorial I am going to be using an hyper uh, hyperband uh, optimization algorithm to find a better uh, parameters from provided search space which have defined it above so for that we'll using uh, keras tuner dot hyperband and we'll provide the model builder function and then we'll say that objective function is validation accuracy and we'll give it for 10 epochs so it should uh, train for 10 epochs uh, and it will it will understand uh, and will find the better parameters by using this 10 epochs so we have kept it very low you can train it for n number of epochs and get a better uh, conversions to the better hyperparameter numbers and we are saying is factor 3 and save the results to my directory you can specify the project name so this is uh, all you have to just provide and you have to just train it now so this is how you do it and you just run this cell so it will build a function and it will start doing it so once you have this thing set up now you can uh, specify the uh, 
callbacks of stopping early because you are going to monitor it. So you have to find like where it is uh, getting a better results. So you have to stop early when you find a better uh, validation uh, loss. So you stop at that point and then uh, we start the search for the hyperparameters. So you have defined the algorithm to be used. Yeah, inside that algorithm, you have specified the model which you're going to be tuning for. And then you specify the uh, early stopping and then you, you're doing the Tino dot search on image and label and giving it for 50 pops and you're providing validation speed as well and providing the callbacks which is stop early. So in this particular uh, line, it is just for searching the hyperparameters. We haven't yet trained any model. We, are, we, have, we have been just working to get the best hyperparameters. We'll do the training later on. But first, we have to find the better number of parameters. So for this, we are using Tino.search. So Tino came from here and it is doing the Tino.search and it will find the hyperparameters, better hyperparameters over here. And from here, we'll just get the best hyperparameters by using this Tino.get best parameters. And it will print out all the best parameters like units, which is the best number of uh, uh, numbers we'll getting for dense layer and uh, which is the best learning rate. So this all cell, this whole cell will do it for you. And so just let's just run it and let us wait for 50 pox to complete. So you can see it is started printing, uh, which is the best value it has identified so far. So it, you can see it hasn't identified first. Now it has uh, uh, changed to some values. So this is how it does. So it has identified okay, 64 is the best uh, number of uh, the dense layer uh, or a dense unit you can find. And then uh, you can see that the learning rate has been also been changing. So now it identified that okay, 384 is the best. So it keeps on switching and it will it is just finding the best combination of hyperparameters where you will get the better accuracy and it is all being done by uh, by hyperband algorithm Okay, so model training has been completed and so you can see the hyperparameter search is complete and the optimal number of parameters for densely generated layer is 256 and the optimal learning rate for the optimizer is 0 0.001. So this is the values which we are looking for and, and uh, it has find that 256 number of uh, hidden uh, neurons is actually what uh, looks better because it has printed 88% accuracy on validations and with learning rate of 0 0.01. So this is what the uh, parameters we're looking for and we'll be using for training our model. And, and, and we'll use this particular parameters uh, to train our model. So before that, let's just find uh, which is the best hyperparameters for epochs. That means how many uh, better number of epochs will lead us to better uh, model, uh, better model accuracy. So this is what we're gonna be doing at this point of time. So uh, we go, we are taking we are taking this Tino dot hyper model and build we build our model again by using this best hyperparameters which we have uh, got from here from this step and we'll just put it in here and we'll build the model again with this particular parameters parameters and we'll start this fitting model again on the train data set for 50 box. So by this we'll get to know that okay which, which are which is the best number of uh, number of epochs we need to train for a particular model training. So this is what we're going to be doing here and we'll run this and let's, let's see what it does. Okay, so it has uh, convincingly said that we have 24 is the best number of epoch to be trained for this particular model. So oh, how he has how it has come about it because it has got a better accuracy at this particular step. 
so this is what it is doing so it has it is being saying that okay you have to train it for only 24 epochs and you don't have to train it for 50 epochs so for that particular thing uh, we have taken this particular uh, code uh, which says that uh, which stores the history of this particular fitting of model and then from there we'll, we are extracting validation accuracy and from there we'll see that which has max, max accuracy so which epoch has produced that max accuracy validation accuracy and we will just add it up one so from here it is saying that okay this is the best epoch to go for so you can see it has uh, got a bet best accuracy at uh, this particular level at 24 and it is now being uh, used as a, as a best uh, epoch to be trained for so this is how we got the best epoch and we have the best uh, parameters where well, that is 256 and 0 0.01 as a learning rate now we'll use all these three parameters which we have configured and uh, found out by using uh, Keras you know, we'll use it to particularly train our best model now. So we we'll use our uh, main model by using this uh, parameters. So for this, we'll use again the tuner dot hyper model, which has already these uh, these models set up inside it, uh, which we have already configured using this tuner inside this tuner. While we were defining uh, kt dot hyper band, so inside that we have specified our model and it is saved inside this tuner classes. And this tuner, uh, this tuner class has this hyper hyper model method, and it's it it has a self method which is called build, and we have to just specify the best parameters, which is 256 and uh, 0 0.001 learning rate, which has been trained by using uh, Keras tuner. So this is how we defined the hyper tuned model, and then we'll fit the uh, hyper tuned model with the images label. And the best epochs. So right now, in the previous stage, uh, we saw that we were giving uh, the same kind of uh, um, uh, function or same kind of uh, uh, things we are providing. But over here, we will just uh, we are providing 50 epochs. But right now, we'll restrict it to 24 epochs, which, which because we have find out that okay, 24 epochs are the best to be trained for. So we'll just give that best epoch over here, and we'll keep the validation speed as 0.2. So this is how uh, we generally do it and we'll, we'll train it, it for again 24 epochs. So that's how our best model will be coming up and we'll then check our uh, accuracy for this particular uh, model plugin. So model has not trained for 24 epochs and you can see it has got 89.09 uh, accuracy. So let us uh, print it out and let's visualize the results. Uh, by evaluating on the test data set. So let's run this set and it will give out the accuracy, the particular accuracy. So you can see uh, the accuracy is little uh, down over here as it is 88%. Uh, but yeah, it, it can be improved uh, once we start training for more number of epochs or we do uh, more number of hyperparameter tunings for a uh, various number of uh, parameters. So right now we have taken only two parameters for training, but, uh, but you can use a main number of parameters and you can hyper tune and get a better result about this. So this is how you do and this is how you apply uh, Keras tuner for training of uh, models and how you can hyper tune your uh, custom models and you can even use it for uh, fine tuning your uh, pre-trained model. So this particular library will be using for hyper optimization. So I think uh, this is all about this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this kind of content, Please do support the channel and subscribe the channel. Thank you.